Welcome back to LethalPC.com. This is Lethal Hammer, and today we are looking at the Sager MP8170S1. This is a super high-end laptop by any means. Um, the only thing that classifies it as second rate is because this specific laptop only allows for one graphics card instead of two. Uh, it's still running the top of the line CPU, same with graphics. Uh, but the biggest difference we're looking at, again, with the NP8170 uh, is just a single graphics card option. Um, some people looking for laptops, that's a good thing. Some people looking for a true desktop replacement. Um, you know, they might want to go up to the next level and get a dual graphics card set up. But expect to spend about eight to $900 more for that. So let's get right into this. So, again, this is a Sager laptop. It's the NP8170. Um, as you can see, it's very black. Um, I have a lappy mat sitting on top of it currently. Let me remove that and you can see the keyboard. Um, I'll throw this right here. So the laptop just up front it's just very sleek. It's very stylized. Um, let's see if I can get up close for you guys. You'll see the keyboard here nicely laid out. Um, you have your power buttons up here along with your other activity lights for things so you can see if your internet's disabled, Bluetooth is disabled, uh, stuff like that, trackpad, etc. Uh, you have your standard finger scanner, uh, two button in your trackpad. Comes with a couple THX, HDMI and your Intel Core i7 uh, stickers. <clears throat> but in general, uh, the laptop you can also see on the monitor, it's pretty reflective, um, pretty shiny. If you're in a high lit room, you will see a little bit of uh, reflection, uh, but because it's a backlit LED, uh, it does tone it down a bit. If if I had a second go at it, I would have spent the extra 200 bucks and got the matte finish screen, uh, just because of, I, I find myself gaming in, in more lit areas than not, so. But this is the direct overview. Uh, let's go into and check out the individual ports on the laptop. From the left side of the laptop, you'll see that you have your TV connection, your RJ45 connection for internet, two SATA 3.0 part ports, your SATA 2.0 port, an IEEE uh, 1394 port, and pretty much your three-in-one card reader that reads more card functionality than you'll ever need. On the front of the laptop, you'll see you have your infrared reader and your lights for your laptop on and charging. And on the right side, you'll have another SATA 2.0 port, your audio head jacks, you have your headphone, your line in, your microphone, and for your surround. And then also you will have your CD bay drive. Um, this is a Blu-ray player as well, which can be replaced uh, via option uh, for a third hard drive if you want to eliminate the disk drive altogether. On the back of it, you have the, your Kingston lock, your vent port for your GPU, your eSATA connection, your HDMI connection, your DVI connection, your power connection, and your vent for your CPU. Again, just taking a, a closer look at the keyboard, just like most high-end laptops out there, you have a lot of options with your function key. You'll see your function key is right down here. Most of the interactive keys, again, are your F, you know, your F1 through F12, and then a couple others lingering around. But you'll see you have your turn off your trackpad, extend your monitor, uh, mute, sleep mode, uh, volume down, volume up. You also have your dual monitor switching brightness uh, up and down, turn on your camera which is up here on top of the screen, um, turn on and off Bluetooth, turn on and off uh, internet connection, you have your scroll lock, num lock, and then obviously your your page up and page down down here. Uh, pretty standard keyboard layout, it does have a full function num pad, num pad off to the right side, and again I, I loosely touch base on the interactive, your power button is right here, and again, highlights if your uh, laptop is locked, um, battery, uh, wireless, and Bluetooth 
uh, I believe it has hard drive light LED as well. Um, the other cool thing is, again with a laptop like this, is the microphone is right there. Uh, my previous laptops, microphones always been on top of the screen, um, like most are still, uh, but with this laptop and how many speakers it has, it's nice to have um, the, the microphone right where, you know, pretty much above your face so you're talking right at it instead of having to drown out the noise that's being pumped up from the back of the laptop up towards that microphone. So, great placement. I think it's better overall. So one thing that should definitely be brought up is how big the power supply brick is. This thing is ginormous. Don't get me wrong, um, compared to an iPhone. This power supply is pretty big, it does get warm. Take in mind that when you're equipping these laptops with such high-end components like the 485M, you know, lots of RAM, high-end processor, even throw in the option of them being able to overclock your system for you, um, yeah, you're gonna need a power supply. I know with the dual uh, graphic card models, the, the laptop above this one, they require two of these power supplies. I believe these are 350 watts each, so again, when you're rocking two uh, graphic cards under full load scenarios, you're going to need two of these bad boys. A little bit crazy, but hey, it gets the job done, you don't have any issues. One thing I'd like to also point out about this system is the finish. So you have like a metallic finish on the back here, has the Sager logo. Um, also the bezel is wrapped with a, a clear shiny plastic. Um, it is not fingerprint proof by any means. Um, if you're grabbing and touching your laptop, um, you are going to get fingerprints on this. If you're a clean freak like I am, you'll be carrying your lappy mat and or device like it, along with some like Omni Mist uh, screen, sp screen spray or um, you know something that's going to allow you to clean it all the time. I mean, I'm a clean freak and I want my system looking good all the time. So, also on the keyboard deck, you have that same uh, aluminum black finish. It's brushed aluminum, so it's not super uh, shiny, but it has that nice brushed look. Again, trackpad's a nice mat. Again, the finger pads, they have a couple little bumps in them. Pretty nice to touch. Side panels here are also plastic all along the top of the laptop. Again, being plastic all the way around. And your screen bezel is the same shiny plastic that's on the outside as well so again touching on the glare you'll see but let's turn on the system and we'll show you how fast she boots up so power is on So he brings you right into the fingerprint scanner. And we're at the desktop. You see this system loads very quickly. Uh, as most of you know, I'm an NVIDIA fan, so obviously why not support the company I, I love? So I got my desktop with the NVIDIA logo. But there you go, startup time is super fast. Another thing to look for is the shutdown time of a laptop. Uh, a lot of users don't realize how long some of these laptops could take to shut down. So showing the muscle and the power of a SSD, let's go ahead and shut this down. There we go, just hit shut down. Powering down. And she's off. Very fast shutdown times. Um, Again, solid state drive in a laptop, almost a must have for your primary drive, especially for all your programs and stuff like that, launching wise. Programs launch in a snap, system boots up, system shuts down fast. Uh, you can't go wrong. Um, I would definitely, if you're going with a solid state drive, back up your, your primary data like documents, pictures, videos on your backup drive. So it's good to get a nice, big, hefty backup drive, like 500 gigs or bigger if you can, uh, and save those files. So in receiving this laptop, just want to go over some of the details and cool things that Sager did. Um, 
they package this laptop to ship to you very well. Um, there's no need to worry about shipping in, unless FedEx or UPS in your area just drop boxes and are clumsy and roll over them with forklifts or something. But in general, um, the laptop is shipped separate. So there's two compartments in the box that's actually double boxed. The laptop surrounded in plastic covering. The screen has a hard plastic cover on it. Um, there's tape uh, with just plastic all over everything so it doesn't get scratched. And then it's wrapped in a nice plastic bag and then they have it surrounded with foam. Um, and then in the separate compartment, you have this laptop bag, which is as generic as they come, that will have just about all your your incidental items inside of it. So let's open it up and I'll show you what it comes with. So the front bag, so you see it comes with, they give you like a, a micro suede cleaner in there. Also comes with a HDMI, or I'm sorry, DVI to VGA uh, for those of you running old monitors that want to utilize them. Um, you get your uh, Blu-ray disc for your Blu-ray drive. Windows 7, Home Premium, I already put Ultimate on there. And your device drivers in manual, I'm sorry, device drivers in manual. So, pretty straightforward. Um, also, the the bag, the as I saw you earlier, the, you saw how big the power supply was. So I'm just knocking over the camera stand. The power supply came in this box along with the battery. So they made sure that power supply was going nowhere. Definitely nice and padded, and it was inside the the black bag. So if you're uh, if you're super crazy about a bag and want to travel with it, this can get the job done. Um, but if you check out my other review on the Keekin 18-inch uh, shoulder bag, uh, that is the bag I'm using to travel with. A lot more padding, just better bag overall. You can check out the review on our channel. Um, I would endorse that bag 100%. This bag, on the other hand, generic. Don't travel with it. Maybe if you're going to a buddy's house, yeah, but I wouldn't go on a plane with this bag. Here we go, back after a 3D Mark Vantage run. Uh, score was 13,545, definitely a high-end laptop score. To put it in uh, perspective, I pulled up uh, one of my buddy's reviews with an HP EliteBook 8740W. Um, it's a workstation, it's running a Quadro 5000M, which is no slouch of a graphics card by any mean, and it got a 7,747, so literally we got pretty close to doubling that score with the GTX uh, 4. 85M. So, 3D Mark Vantage. I'm going to do some uh, one off uh, benchmarks again through the channel, so watch for those. Uh, but overall, that's the review of the Sag Sager uh, laptop. Appreciate you guys watching, and uh, always check back for more at lethalpc.com.